a keepsake ring. What's that all about? Dominate beast. Created by a conglomerate of druids, one when, night when the stirring of violins, insects, elms, and whispering winds consorted, and when wild beasts in need of taming proved uns prowled unseen. And a Halston? What comes now? I think he kind of just does. He does he? I don't think he has dominate beast. Oh, he has passed that a trace as a spell on the ring. Okay. Hmm, those are good. Maybe I give Will the Pass Without a Trace ring, though? Shop is I don't know. Oh, Will doesn't have any rings. Sure, Will, you can have a ring. Yeah, poor Will. I haven't brought him out, apparently, that much. Da, 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 da. Still breathing, despite everything. Chopped up breezy sandals. Well, let's walk around and see if there's anything to... Don't waste a step. This is disgusting, by the way. That there were so many rats down here is really gross. On the other side, you'll find a passageway known only to those invited to do business. Okay. <coughs> Um, is it, I mean, it's already kind of open. That's curious. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, I couldn't just walk through there? Okay. Wow! This had to have been here prior to you guys doing your the thing. The psionic detector's been activated. <gasps> there must be Gith hostiles oh, nearby. Oh, uh, in, in here? I guess they would maybe be tracking down where like a rogue mind flayer would be. Here goes nothing. It's fine. I can't avoid them, I don't think. Yeah. What are they doing here? Get rid of them. Even what? They will be ready. In the meantime, tear every brick out if you have to. If it doesn't come, we must find evidence of its whereabouts. I'm glad Lazelle isn't here. Um, anyway, uh, I only know how to rush in like a maniac, so... I'm actually gonna do this spell on myself. Please, on me. Yes. Full beans, and... Shall we continue? Yeah. No time to rest. Let's go! Wee! What a pleasant oh, surprise. Are we gonna talk? Here you are, as brazen as described. She's really beautiful. The traitor who would steal from our queen. Oh, okay, you're one of those. Of course you had help, didn't you? From the elithid you carry inside the astral prism. How quaint that we should meet here, in the very place that it once called Crazy home. coincidence, huh? We know all about the Emperor and its dealings with you. Though I must confess, its peculiar relationship with you threw us off course for a while. Most elithids prefer to dominate their thralls through transformation. Yet here you stand, untransformed. I mean, I said no thank you. Tell me, what did it offer you in exchange for your servitude? Not being turned into, into an elithid. I do want to ask, how do you know about that? Mind flayers are our quarry. We have filled libraries with our knowledge of how to hunt them down. We tracked it from the moment the astral prism fell into its claws. And now that we have found it, we will reclaim the astral prism, purge it of the elithid interloper, and restore it to its rightful owner. Yeah. Um. You should know the Emperor is not the only occupant of the astral prism. You can see what that does. What are you doing? Oh. My dear child, I already know all there is to know. Is that tomorrow. already known? I will liberate you from your puppet master, Chamazala Blackie! I don't know. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to tell her that Orpheus is in there. There is not, is it yet? Let's have you run up to this woman. Soldier. I 
think if she dashes, she gets something. The scent of blood is in the I'm not 100% sure. I want to change it too. Where is it? Can I do it? I want to do the... the, 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 the oh yeah, that one. Yay! I do hope, I hope that we can get some jumping in here. Very nice. Uh, I do want to jump up here with him. Why? What? <laughs> Why did he walk over there just to miss the step? Back. Oh yeah, I gave Will blink from um from a thing. You vanish into the ethereal flame. While you're there, you can't be home. Flame strike. I mean. If I could, I could get a flame strike Finding my way. on these people. Oh, you're too far. Will can't jump up there. Mm, no, I want to use flame. I think this is actually going to be... We will be out of range of these guys. They'll have to, like, come over and, like, look straight down at him. Camera spell! <laughs> it's not going to happen! I forget having counter spell people around is handy. For the queen. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. And I think she has, um... I think that happens that she interrupts movement by doing that. Excuse me? Can I break these? Oh no. What why can't we why couldn't we counterspell that? That is very unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Ooh, see I knew I I remember that the gith had um a frightened thing. So I didn't want to be involved in that. Oh, ow. <laughs> ow. Okay, let's see. Out of sight? No! Gosh dang it, I was really hoping. Alright, let's summon a planar ally. Here goes nothing. I kinda wanna put him up there. I might this might be bad for Will, but I wanna get him up there so he can do some damage. No. Confucio. Oh, you're smiting? I can smite too. Gosh dang it. I need to break the I either need to break the summoners or I need to break the um Or I need to break the gates. Worth a try. <laughs> For the queen. Kinesis her down to the ground so that it would break concentration on the spell. I had to restart the fight, by the way. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> um, we all died. But I, in the beginning, I telekinesis her down. And then I harsh rebuked her. And uh, now, so far, things seem to be going okay.
Okay. Well, we've at least got the annoying mage types out of the way at the beginning. That's good. This is my time. Finding my way. on everybody else. The hold person thing though is uh is rough, I tell you what. I like the idea of Allison jumping over and doing that and being like, no, because she's, because I, whoa, I shook it off. Nice. Okay. I do have better wisdom than I, than how, than, uh, Carlyke does, I think, so. This is my time. does make it a little easier for me to brush things off, potentially. <laughs> I keep using this as a thing to hide behind, which has actually helped, honestly, at least a little bit. Confucio. Nope, none of that. Ghoulish uh, touch. What does that else do? Ooh, and possibly paralyze them? Oh, man. Hey, I switched over to- I'm, I'm looking bad right now, but the, the Sabertooth cat has always done me really well. And I needed the jumping abilities, and like the Sabretooth had better jumping, so I got up here, murdered that person, and it was like, woo, you know? I'm doing it. Let's see. Do we go? Making my move. Ooh, okay. Got the ranged person out of the way. That's good. Confucius. It might not look like it, but we are doing way better. Cause one thing. I. Oh, okay. I was like, we hadn't. We didn't have car like having whole person issues this time, but apparently I jinxed it before I even said it. Um. Oh, are you serious? What? Golly. How? This person is like, I was like literally so close to dying. Moving to position. Let's see if I can't, like, if they try to, can I just, nope. I'm gonna try to be a, an, a, of assistance to Carlac. Or we can throw a candy in there. Ooh, she did it. Nice. She got out of it. The problem was on the earlier one was that the earlier try was that Carlac got whole person like right at the start and it was a huge issue. With haste. Um I got like half our damage and stuff, and I was like, this is not good. I think a bunch of my auras got taken off too, which is unfortunate. I did manage to summon a, an undead, which was neat.
but it was not enough. Also, I keep trying to use Halson's um, summon like a woodland creature person, like a, a wood person, and um, it in invariably never works. Oh, Father, give me like, cause I never get the chance. Everybody always hits her first. I'm gonna break your armor. Gosh darn it. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. This has been a tough fight though. No, I moved him over there specifically so you wouldn't fall. The enhan the, the ready to parry thing too has been gnarly. You handled them well. And what is now search the room. There's a statue that conceals the way through. I'll reveal it to you. Okay. I'm just gonna keep healing? That's sick. Oh, until a long rest? Love that. I am gonna give the rest of us a short rest, so. I've got a long road ahead. Uh, anyway, that was pretty wild. That was that took a long time. Also, you would think by now. I mean, that they would have, um, found it by now? It seems a little late, but... I like the essay on the inevitability of moral decay, the opportunities it presents, and the way to capitalize upon them. More, not, I thought it was mortality. Morality decays. So you're just... Were you actually a criminal underlord? Morality is not absolute. Why moral decay is not immoral. One man's decline is another man's gain. Those who play and those who make the rules. How to win the game. My guy, that's a that's a less than stellar uh, What's in here? reading library you've got going. Uh, send that to camp. I have so much at camp. Inroads by arms dealer Gortash. You have Gortash stuff in here? He was also, my, my mind flayer was saying that I should make a deal with Gortash. Nine fingers. Here follows a report on the inroads upstart smuggler Enver Gortash has been making on the illicit arms trade in the Chianther Valley. Though inroads badly understates the case. Annexation would be more apt. The former black market leaders, the Knights of the Shield, which was the, the guy here, are the emperor. And outside the city, the Zentarim have largely been supplanted by Gortash's operation. Illegal arms have never been a major component of the guild's business, but given his apparent ambitions, it would be unwise to assume Gortash will stop there. He bears watching closely. Silver key. Hmm, I'll take that. I do love silver keys. The following individuals are a threat to our operations and need to be silenced. Is this... Oh my gosh, is this the Emperor's list? When he was involved with the Duke Lady? Renfrith the Putrid of the Cowled Wizards. That's less than stellar, my guy. How much farther can I go? I don't recall if he ever was like, no, it really is like a nice organization or something, you know? Like, or if I'm just assuming the anarchic purple outfit. I'm encumbered all <laughs> Okay, I do need to send uh, maybe the Carlac. Carlac can carry the torso for me. Thanks, darling. Not that we need to carry it around necessarily. Defender of the I people. guess we'll keep the cambion These things around have stayed interesting. while we figure out if anything is gonna attack us again. Poor knights use only. Do not distribute. Buried behind the counting house and the path to Baldur's Gate near the upper city. These are the reserves. Cup of water. I thought I saw a scroll. Maybe not. Anything of use? Why are you enhanced jumping everywhere? 
Document Sturge is your official order from the Knights of the Shield to undertake a critical mission in Tethyr. The success of this mission depends on your ability to execute your duties with utmost precision, discretion, and loyalty to the Knights of the Shield. The primary objective is to gather intelligence on rumors of an uprising in the court of Queen Rintandin and Daramau, Tethyr. The purpose of this intelligence will be the safeguarding of our trade relationships in the region. Note, youth members of the Order of the Silver Chalice at your discretion, but be aware, but beware that allegiances may not be as they appear. Yeah. What path lies no before me? No way. What's inside? Wait. What's in? It's always weird to me um, that they say that. What's inside when I'm about to go open up a body? Essentially. Ooh, boots. <gasps> Githborn flying boots. Their next melee weapon attack deals an additional one to four psychic damage. Can I, I think I will pick this up for my, like not Mr. John, not for me to wear, but I could give it to, I give it to Lazelle. Note about the shield of Sylvan. Here goes nothing. Thanks to Gortash's steel watchers, it's becoming more and more difficult to have eyes on what's going on in the city. Hear me out. What if you make a play to reclaim the shield of Sylvan? If it can keep a beholder at bay, surely it can do something to get around those damn scrying eyes. I feel like this is a, this is not been an area. Like, was the Gortash watchers was that a thing? Um, while the emperor was around, I mean, Gortash was around, but were the silver watchers around? You know. Or the Steel Watchers, rather. Really. Is the Cambion alright? It sounds like the Cambion's not alright. A ledger of debts from high-ranking officials in Waterdeep annotated with a handwritten comment. For favor, start at the top in order of descending importance. Investment opportunities. Seafood. Best steer clear for now from Manshaka. Please find our latest intelligence on the city's lockdown and alternative smuggling routes into the upper city. Take note and destroy after reading. The rest of the note appears to have been torn off. Okay. So they were having issues even before... Yeah, I just... I, was, I felt like that was a long time ago that this guy, the Mind Flayer was... The Emperor was in action, but apparently it wasn't that long ago. To the Honorable Lord Eomain, I have received your request for the support of the Knights of the Shield and the expansion of the fish oil trade. The Shield would not be averse to such an erasure, but the risk it would incur rather outweigh the cut that you proposed. In short, we are prepared to do business with you, but let us meet to hammer out the finer details. I eagerly await your response, Master Yoru Nightshade. Record of operations in Neverwinter! Oh my gosh, Neverwinter! And the code names of the Knights of the Shield agents involved. Yikes. Oh, did I not? Yeah, I did lose you. Okay. Well, I think... Okay, I've gotten everything... that I can read in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I don't know if this is one or two episodes. Woo! So, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Risco Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.